Hey, it's Leslie. This is part two of a three-part series on how to make sure your electric fence energizer is being used the most effective way it can with your sheep and goats. One, stay in the habit of keeping your fence on all the time. It's okay to turn it off when you're working with your herd, but don't leave it off, especially with net fence. Just because there's that visible barrier, your goats and sheep will know when it is off and in the most inopportune time, they will test it and you don't wanna be in that situation. And obviously your fence is only effective as your energizer. Two, make sure that when you're using net fence, when you stick the stake in the ground, the foot stake in the ground, you're not unintentionally wrapping it in the wire that is in your fence. Um, that will lead to grounding out and making your fence ineffective. And number three, make sure you have as little weed interference as possible. That's going to make sure that you're not having extra grounding 